So hello and welcome back to another coin video. And in today's video, well, we're not going to go through all of this. So this is 550 coins, or supposedly supposed to be. And it weighs, yeah, quite a bit. I would say probably, probably at least 5 kilos. So that will probably make it about 8 or 9 grams per coin. So... Uh, I have seen a few items in here, but this is going to make a few videos. So, most of these seem like common coins, and the default thing is if I do not say a value, then it's worth a dollar or less. So the first coin we have is the current coin of Namibia. So, I'll also mention if they currently circulate, so this does currently circulate, a $1.00. Roughly equivalent to about 10 Australian cents. And if you're going to sell, probably worth about a dollar. Uh, so that one I'd have you uh, have. Indian rupees. So these ones are the bigger ones. They're not in... Oh, I suppose they are in circulation. Um, but they reduce the size. So this is probably similar size to the 2 rupee now. So don't get confused if you go to India. Between the old coins and the current coins. Uh, this is... Stainless steel, probably worth about a dollar. And the mint mark it doesn't have one, so it's probably Kolkata. Anyway, that one I have Thailand 50 Satang. So these do not really circulate, it's worth about two and a half cents. Anyway, then we have a Yugoslavia 953 50 Paha aluminium and these are probably worth about a dollar so this one's almost uncirculated then we have a Brazilian run cruzado probably worth one to two dollars 1986 so this is during the hyperinflation period of Brazil which pretty much ended in 94 uh, so this one is the coat of arms of Brazil and it's made out of steel so these won't last a long in the environment because they just go black and corrode. Oh, if it's stainless steel, it might last a bit longer. Okay, next coin we have is a 50 Hala from Saudi Arabia, 3097. Can't remember how to convert the actual date, so I think it's uh, 1970s. And this did circulate up until 2016, and then they changed their coins. Uh, so more than likely still legal tender, uh, but you know, worth probably a dollar in that condition. Okay, 1946, New Zealand half penny. 1946, can't remember the actual mintage itself, uh, but put it aside. So this one is in EF grade, extremely fine. You can see a lot of detail in the hair. And these ones are pretty popular in Australia and New Zealand because uh, well, people here just think that Australia and New Zealand are the same country. Okay, next coin is a Spanish. Oh, sorry. That's made out of bronze, so it's probably worth about 3 or $4, unless it's a low mint, which I need to look up. Next coin, Spanish aluminium bronze, one peseta. So this... Is 1982 as you can see there it looks like it's got doubling on the coin so if you rotate it that way yeah that's definitely an error and look at the one it's got doubling and looks like it's got damage on the 82 and here we have the one Carlos there it is and is probably worth one or two dollars for normal coin um, with an error probably about five dollars okay the next coin is an indonesian 1993 100 rupiah so we have a is that karapan sapi so it's a game of bulls and this is worth has an exchange rate about one cent it's made of uh, brass and they don't circulate anymore. They use aluminium coins. Another Indonesian coin that doesn't circulate. 
So this one is a bird, current movie of bird. But you can find the information on Numistar, 25 rupees, 971. It's about a billion of these minted, so a very common coin. You can get them in uncirculated for probably about a dollar. So this one's about less than a dollar. Then we have a large aluminium coin from France. So this is probably EF to almost uncirculated, pretty common. Uh, this one is a 1947, five francs. So these circulated up into 19, early 60s. Uh, I think they issued five new centimeters, which is the equivalent value, about 1961. But they did change over in 1960. So it took them a while to make the smaller denominations. And, oh, that one's probably worth, uh, probably three or four dollars. Then we have a Chinese coin, so this is a large, this is a large coin, it's 20 cash, you can see it roughly says 20 on the bottom, and it was equivalent to like 2 cents in China. A large copper coin, and this is the Republic of China at the top, and on the back, uh, it has it in Chinese, and it has the, the two Chinese flags. So in this condition, probably not even worth a dollar. I think it's like four or five hundred million of these minted. Uh, yep, but it has bronze disease. So it's quite corroded coin. Okay, next coin we have a current 50 dirham of United Arab Emirates. This one is dated 1995 or 13.15. And that one. You can see five zero. The dot is the zero. What looks like a zero is a five in Arabic. So it's probably worth about a dollar or less. Exchange rate. That will be worth about fifteen cents. Okay, a formal coin of South Africa. So we have some plants there. Looks like aloe in aloe vera. Aloe, aloe vera family, whatever. Okay, and here we have one of the. Um, I think it was a former president, 1976, can't remember his name. Um, but this is a commemorative coin because in the 70s they did issue coins and coat of arms. So, while I don't know the exact mintage, uh, I'll look it up and let you know if it's a rare coin. But that condition probably you know, worth about a dollar. Okay, Yugoslavian, uncirculated. This one is a 50 para 1976 worth about a dollar. Made out of brass, quite a nice coin. Then we have the large 10 won from South Korea. So they did change these in about 2005 or something. And these are still legal tender, uh, but they probably don't circulate because they issued smaller copper plated aluminium. And this one is a bronze coin and then we have another one so this is a looks like a brass coin from the same country but this one had English on the front so 10-1 again 1971 so these ones are probably worth about two or three dollars uh, this one's probably worth face value so about one cent as you can see it has one of the national monuments of South Korea then the next coin we have is a two front from Hungary, 1970. So the BP there, it's not the petrol station. It's Budapest. And I like I like the actual rimming of this coin. It's a communist coat of arms. Magyar. So that means Hungary. Republic, People's Republic. And uh, probably worth less than a dollar. Okay, 956 coin from... Denmark. So this is a zinc one. It was uh, they used zinc after the Second World War. They just they went back to bronze later. Uh, but they continued to issue zinc until these were taken out of circulation. And this one's probably worth about two to three dollars. So I'm not too sure if I had that coin. And oh, this one is Sudan. So this is a twenty dinars of Sudan. Uh, as you can see, the quality of minting is actually quite poor because these are minted in Sudan, as far as I know. 
but these are not very common in Australian coin lots because, well, basically people here don't really go to Africa unless South Africa or Egypt or Kenya. Uh, Sudan's definitely off the plate, uh, but we do have a lot of refugees from Sudan, especially South Sudan. So it's more than likely this came via one of those people. Anyway, that's just a guesstimate. But this one's probably worth about three or four dollars. Uh, and you'll probably struggle to find them in on eBay because of the sanctions. But the more common coins you'll find in these sets are coins from Papua New Guinea. You say Tuni Toa. So here's the cassowary. This one is a nickel plated steel so they don't issue copper nickel coins anymore so they're all plated steel and this one's probably worth about a dollar so there's exchange rate of about 10 cents so and in 1975 Papua New Guinea traded the Australian dollar for the Papua New Guinea Kina so that's how long they've had their currency then we have a whoops dropped it okay and this is an italian coin it's victor emmanuel the third regime emperor imperator and this one's an i41 so then you have xix which is 19 that represents how many years Mussolini has been in power and this has a fascus which is a roman symbol and an eagle so it's trying to revitalize the Roman Empire. So this is a 50 centimeters from Rome, made out of uh, a, what is it, a chromial or stainless steel. So these generally are not corroded. So uh, that's probably worth about three to four dollars. Another Yugoslav coin worth about a dollar, copper nickel coin, 1978, two dinars. So this currency suffered from inflation in the 80s. Then we have a Belgian coin, another copper nickel, 1966. And this is a one franc Belgi. So this is the, the Dutch version of the coin. And there is a French version. Then we have a Spain, so it's an aluminium coin worth, so it's Espana, 141, I say 5 cents, a 10 cent coin, and not really a good condition, so worth about a dollar or less, but uh, this was issued under General Franco, under the dictatorship with the coat of arms, and it's a nice coin. Then we have another aluminium coin from Hungary. 1975 this is a 220 filler so this is pretty much only worth about a dollar Argentine 10 centavos they haven't issued these since 10, 2011 probably worth about a dollar so this one is the coat of arms uh, and Union de Libertad Union of Liberty so this is probably worth less than a cent actually probably 0.1 of a cent and it's made out of aluminium bronze they also come in copper nickel coins as well then we have oh hello so this is a one reel of iran so here we have the last king and dated 13 uh, 51 this is pretty much uncirculated so it's probably worth about five ten dollars in itself uh, you won't find Iranian coins because of uh, US sanctions they do affect eBay but you know you can look up the actual currency or Persia or something like that but I don't have these coins this gun in the collection then we have an aluminium coin from India so it's a 50 pesa 1967 and not really worth that much money in that condition ok 
Okay, next one is a Turkish. So this is a current coin. No, not tw 10 kudos. 2013. Now, so with the exchange rate decline, this is worth less than a cent, so they probably really don't circulate in Turkey anymore. Uh, and it's a brass coin. Then we have a Russian coin, 1998. It's a Bank Russi. It's a 50 kopek, 5 kopek, should I say. Uh, they probably don't circulate anymore. I think they stopped minting these coins because it's only worth about point one of a cent, so you need ten of them to equal one cent. Okay, then we have United States, one dime, current circulating coin, 1967, uh, which is the second year of issue of the copper clad, uh, copper nickel clad nickel, uh, not nickel, copper nickel clad copper. So it's got copper, you can see it brown, and it's copper nickel on the outside. Face value. Another South African coin, 1994, this is a 20 cent current circulating coin. And this one is a protea, beautiful large flower. Inside is a coat of arms. So curious thing about South African coins is that each year, they change the language on the coins because uh, all the native languages, as well as English and Afrikaans, are uh, recognized languages. And the last one is a Canadian one cent. They haven't issued these since 2012. Uh, There's probably less three, four hundred million of these minted. So this is only worth face value, and this feels like it's the copper plated uh, zinc or aluminium coins. Anyway, not really worth that much. So that is the first part of this video. So the coins I'm going to keep, all these ones, I'll probably just throw back. Uh, these ones are going to keep, especially the Iranian coins. Uh, I'm not too sure if I've got the Danish. I know I've got the Sudanese, but I just like Sudan. And the other coins, I'm not too sure if I've got, so I need to check my collection. Anyway, thank you very much, and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you, and goodbye.